every closed model breakthrough, there's always an open source answer. And today I'm gonna to show you the open source answer to deep search. But first of all, I wanted to talk about DeepSeek because of course DeepSeek has had such a huge impact in the entire space. And DeepSeek was the response to ChatGPT-01 with DeepSeek R1. You probably heard about it all over the news, how big of an impact it had in the text industry. And now there are different applications of DeepSeek across various wrappers. So we've seen some in the operator space when ChatGPT released ChatGPT operator. And now today I wanna to show you a version for it for Deep Search. Just to give you an idea of the cost, because this is gonna be very important to mention this. So DeepSeek R1 is 95% cheaper than O1. So you might spend about $15 per million token with O1, but you're only spending about 0 0.55 per million token with DeepSeek R1. And there's been a couple companies like Perplexity or Together AI that implemented DeepSeek without the, the Chinese censorship. But the thing is, those applications are often more expensive. For example, if, you, if you're if you using Together AI DeepSeek R1, uh, you're paying about $7 per million token, which is substantially more expensive than the original price of DeepSeek. So you want to be using DeepSeek. But the problem is the DeepSeek model not only has censorship, but also, right now they've been dealing with a lot of attack. So the API has been down for a couple of days now, and I haven't been able to even open the API platform to generate new keys. So you have to remember DeepSeek was a side project. It wasn't the main project of the company that made it. Greg Brockman, one of the co-founder of OpenAI, mentioned that Deep Research is an extremely simple agent, an O3 model which can browse the web and execute Python code. I don't think there was like some crazy innovation. It's just the way they apply the reasoning and the steps to make it work. Someone recently actually built an open source project for it, and it's called Open Deep Research. And this is essentially what they did here. So they use file crawler and it, it visits every single link and also do the research and the analysis with a different reasoning model. But this tool was only working with DPT 4.0. So what I did is I actually submitted a PR to the project because this is open source. So you can head over to Open Deep Research. Under Nick's camera, you can go under Open Deep Research and then get the open source project. And I actually made a PR that will add DeepSeek to this open source project. I've also added model selection, which didn't come with the original version. And then I've also added the ability to use different models for reasoning. So when you're searching something such as uh, find me gap in Stripe features, let's see if you can generate that. So right now I'm just asking you to find gap in terms of features and I wanted to make a deep research. So just like OpenAI model is going to come back with a question to ask me additional question to make this more clear. So he's asking, could you clarify what specific aspect of Stripe feature you're interested in? Uh, I'm interested in opportunities and problems, not address. Do a deep search. All right. And then when you do that, it's going to trigger the research process and visiting all the relevant links, analyzing those links and come back with uh, an answer and as you can see right here, it's gonna take about five minutes to do so. And when they come back with the answer, it's using reasoning to provide you the answers. And right now the reasoning uh, capability is using, let me show you. Okay, so we have O1, O1 mini, O3 mini. Uh, I've added DeepSeek R1 uh, from Together AI and, and DeepSeek Reasoner from some DeepSeek. Uh, one issue right now is that if you don't have an API key from DeepSeek, you might not be able to add one right now because it's down. So maybe by the time you watch this video, it'll be it'll be up. And if you're using the Together AI approach, then it might be a little bit more expensive, as I mentioned earlier, because it's uh, about seven dollar per million token. But as you can see, it actually ended up taking a little bit less than five minutes, and it provided an answer to my question with the different features that can be addressed for Stripe. So this is the implementation of it. And then and in the README, you have all the instruction on how to use it. So this is the open source version of DeepSeek that you can use. The founder of HubSpot, Dash Sharma, actually 
wrote a really interesting piece about the the power of deep research. And this is really cool that now we can actually access that as an open source project. Because if you were to use OpenAI to use that, you would pay about $200 per month to have access to this feature because it's currently only accessible to pro users. But by using the open source, this is literally free. You don't have to pay anything other than some of the, the token that you're using, so it's up to you, but access to the feature is free. On OpenAI, access to the feature is about $200 per month. But when you think about the value that it delivers, it, it sometimes sounds like it could be worth it because it allows you to reduce the work of someone that spent maybe like 30 days working on the research and is doing that in a few minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. OpenAI mentioned that sometimes it might take 30 minutes to find an answer. One pattern that I've noticed with the open source one is taking about five minutes, but I've been really satisfied with the quality of the answer that I've been getting. This is going to be a big deal. Uh, some company started even uh, firing their research team because, I mean, this can do the work of a research team, so you don't have to spend $150,000 to do the same thing. So it's a lot more efficient. So think about all the value that this is going to add to people that are doing research. And if you're, if you're a developer or solo partner or someone that just want to do research on your own thing, you can also use it to do that. And now you can use the open source version to do so. And just quickly, I'm going to show you how to set up the, the open source version. But I want to show you what I added to the readme. Best way to show you that is on my own GitHub. So let's do that. Okay, so if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see a table. Because the model used a general model for creating all the structured data in the beginning, but then you use the reasoning model to analyze the responses, you have to be aware of that because some model don't have structured data. For example, O1 mini doesn't have structured data, but GPT-4, O1, O3 mini have it. And also uh, DeepSeq AI by, by uh, Together AI don't have st structured data and DeepSeq don't have structured data. So I've added a way to bypass JSON validation so that the answer that you get at the end is not necessarily going through JSON validation and can just be rendered. Uh, so this is one important note. The other thing that I've noticed is that Together AI actually has rate limits and their rate limit when you're making requests was about six query per minute, I believe. And then, but then you can increase it either by, you know, upgrading your account or based on how long you've been using the account, they might increase it. And if you just go to their site and then you go to the documentation and you look for rate limits. Finally, in order to, to change the reasoning model, all you have to do is pass the reasoning model and variable variable and specify which model you want to use. So if you want to use, for example, O3, you'll just pass O3 over here. If you want to use O1, you pass O1, GPT-4, O, you pass GPT-4, O. Remember that this is using your own token because when you set up the app, you actually have to set up your own environmental variable. So let me show you quickly. So you actually have to set up uh, G's and var, and you're going to have to pass your own OpenAI key. So every single request that you're making, whether it's O3, O1, GPT-4, O, this is coming straight out, out of your pocket. So like I said, access to the tool is free and the cost is relatively free because you're paying about a few dollars per million token, like $15 per million token for OpenAI and less than a dollar for DeepSeek and some other models that are older. So the way I've been personally using it was by using GPT-4 or Mini for making the request. This, this is the cheapest model you can use. I've been using O1 for some of the reasoning or O3 mini for some of the reasoning. So yeah, so that's about it. This is a new resource for you called Open Source Deep Search. I hope this is helpful. You can get access to this resource in the comment below. I'll share a link to that. And if you have any question, make sure to comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.